Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a device in order to be used with a different carrier other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier or network, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy J2 Pure. Kind of a mouthful there, but this is a new-ish device, at least as of the uh, date of this video. And this is a device that is sold uh, by Cricket here in the US. It's a prepaid provider that runs on AT&T's network. Now, this is a device that has not been SIM unlocked yet, because if we can see as we focus in on the screen here, we have a notification on the lock screen saying invalid SIM card inserted. So that's pretty standard for devices that have not been SIM unlocked yet. But the interesting thing is that when we go to swipe that away, we get a message here from Cricket saying that the device is locked, but it says that we have to see if I can focus in on there. There's an unlock button there that we have to tap on. If we tap on that, interestingly enough, while most Cricut devices have always used the standard unlock code mechanism up until now, this new device here is now uh, referring us to the built-in My Cricut account and it takes us to this unlock page. So it almost seems here as if Cricut is now copying T-Mobile and Metro because they adopted the same uh, app unlocking mechanism several years back with their devices. If there doesn't seem to be any way to actually get the device unlocked at this point, because if we tap that unlock button down at the bottom, then we just get a pop-up that starts spinning and then the button just goes gray. Now, Cricut does require you to have the device active for a certain amount of time before they will unlock it. So what's likely going on here is that the device, obviously, since it's brand new, it hasn't been used with them long enough. So that's a function that Cricut will later enable on down the road, either on the back end or via the um, a software update to the phone. But anyways, we're making this video to let all of our clients know that we have developed a method to be able to unlock the phone using our computer programs and tools. And that's actually what I'm doing right here, right now, while the phone is connected. The program is actually just finishing up. We can see the phone rebooting here. So then after that finishes, we should be able to see that it is not giving those network lock messages anymore. And then we should be able to see that it's working on the SIM card that we have here inserted. So just give it a second here to finish rebooting. We've got all the Cricut stuff showing here as it turns on. Okay, so there's the lock screen again, the first page that you come to. And the first thing that we might notice is that we do not have that network lock message anymore. And then of course, now you can see it says T-Mobile up there in the corner, and then we get the network uh, pop up there. So let me go ahead and just dismiss this. And then we'll jump into the settings. If we go under about, and then status. Okay, there we go. So then if we're looking at our SIM card status here, we can indeed see that we are now registered on T-Mobile with our LTE connection set up. And there comes our APN messages. So there we go again. Network is T-Mobile. The type is LTE. So this is now fully running on the T-Mobile SIM card that we have here inserted. And then just so you can also see exactly what device we're working with, if I back up to the About page, we can see here that we're working with, again, like I said, it's, a, it's called a Galaxy J2 Pure. And then that model number there, the J260AZ, is specifically the Cricut device here that we're working with. So the device has now been fully SIM unlocked and is able to be used on other GSM networks. Here in the US, that would be both AT&T and T-Mobile. And then internationally, the phone should also work on most other networks since most of the rest of the world uses GSM as well. So if you have a J2 Pure and would like to get it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description and I'll also put a slide here at the end of the video that has all the info there as well. While you're here make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy down the road. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified about all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.